Yes, what a wonderful full way to start a Monday morning safari. As you can see, we've got beautiful herd of impalas here on uh, one of our big clearings known as a quarantine open area. And it's just nice to see them. And there's so many females in this uh, breeding herd. There's uh, quite a few of them and one bachelor or one dominant male. Yeah, at Juma Private Game Reserve in the Sobi Sand, South Africa. Good morning, everybody. My name is Cedric Dold and behind the camera here yeah, on a rusty I've got Olof. So yes, thank you for joining us. There's a little baby one behind the tree there, just showing us his ears, pretending to be Dumbo. Here, let me stand on your back. <laughs> marvelous yes Samantha not only you you say your favorite sightings are the ones with baby elephants yes we all love baby elephants <laughs> they are very cute they're often behaving in a manner that is most appealing yes so we are here yeah, still with these black dam male lions of course this is uh, New boys in the hood have just recently come into the northern Sabi sands from the Tambavati area and they've come to kind of claim this this area now because they've been scent marking and they've been calling all over the show over the last uh, uh, several weeks. Always making sure there's a lot of contact between them. Look at this. Hello grooming. Oh, that is so precious. Always need to make sure that uh, that relationship and that bond is very strong because you can imagine these two males for the rest of their lives they're going to be together for the rest of their lives they are going to be controlling a territory and looking after females in their territory so it's brothers in blood we have found ourselves a snake more accurately and Paul said nyoka which means snake and so I stopped the car and here is the snake now the night adder is less venomous than the puff adder and the puff adder is responsible for a lot of bites in Africa and you can see this chap hasn't quite figured out that this stick is being maneuvered by me so he's not in the least bit aggressive he's not in the least bit uh, irritated I don't think as he moves along there, he's in a really nice position now for us to view him. Well, we are with um, a female adult, and there's a youngster who's sort of in the thickets behind. We've spent some time with these individuals before. Some lovely... Oh, there we go. That was way too much effort. Way too much effort. We're at Chakuru Dam still, and another large herd of elephants came down with a big bull in the mix. We'd love to get a couple of big bulls having a boxing match. I think that would be quite something. But viewed from this sort of distance... Because when the bulls do fight each other, they lose all concern for anything else that's going on. And two, five, six ton animals pushing and shoving each other. Well, you want to make sure you've got a lot of space between yourself and them. And a big watering hole like this will suffice. happening here these guys are mucking around <laughs> you'll often find with uh, with youngsters you see those uh, little blessed book calves mounting each other there that it's uh, obviously not the real deal that's going on it's uh, it's more just of kind of like a dominance thing um, you'll quite often see that amongst sort of um, buffaloes male buffalo mounting each other and um, I think this is more of a dominance related issue mounting each other rather than these little guys knowing about the birds and the bees and all of that 
they must have seen our, uh, our zebras yesterday going at it and they thought let me give it a crack but now that is quite a common practice to see you can see that one who was actually doing the the sort of the mounting seems to be slightly bigger in size he's the one that's at the back there seems to be slightly physically bigger than the other one and that's all just in the in the sort of like sparring as in most uh, such sort of antelope would do when they're a bit bigger related to dominance and things like that sometimes you tend to see elephant moving in the area find if especially if it's too hot they can even enjoy to sleep while they're standing up for a couple um, minutes and get going it's high demand for these species of course to feed because they are not four chamber stomach they collect uh, not um, really a lot of nutrition on whatever they eat they might be fine that uh, filling the sack itself if the elephant is full they collect up to 250 a foliage or kg it might be 40 to 50 percent that is going to be digested through the molars it was a great morning of course from Wasaf Rexen and Owen behind the camera and all different locations of Wild Earth all the guides were really appreciating for your contributing on the questions and comments we're really loving that and all the team from Wild Earth we're wishing you a very great uh, a morning let's hope Maybe the rain smart comes in the area, change a little bit of environment, get wet and water around in the area. It will be great for us in Pride and Eco Training Safari Life. We are really, really desperate to see how to get rain around in the area. It was a lovely day. I hope you'll enjoy the best of the morning.